peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to go over live path effects for satin stitches. So let's get to it. So what is this tool in ink stitch? Well, it's basically a way to make a repetitive pattern designed to a satin stitch. So we've covered how to make custom satin stitches in a previous video, but instead of making just a regular straight satin stitch along the edge of an applique project, you could use kind of a custom pattern that will go along the edge and it's particularly useful on applicant. So this is just an easy way to up your game in any satin stitches you need to do. Yeah, certainly very easy to use. So we're in Inkscape and we're going to go ahead and show you what this tool looks like by just drawing a simple line. So we went ahead and selected our Bezier tool and we're just gonna draw a simple line to show you what this pattern live effect tool can do. So I have my line here. All you need to do to use it is go to extensions, ink stitch, tools, satin, and then right down here, stroke to live path effect satin. And when I select that, you could see that there's a whole bunch of selections here that you can do. So normal will give you just a normal satin stitch, right? So if I wanted to convert this to a simple satin, I can just go ahead and click apply. And you can see it kind of puts out the rung pattern or the railroad track that we're used to, but we could also select a whole bunch of different patterns and of course you can go ahead and adjust all of the different params of this design. So if I wanted to adjust this down a little bit, you can see you can change the pattern, you know, make this a little bit more obvious. So you can see right there, that would be a nice one there. You can also select diamonds, apply, squares. So you can go ahead and select what works best for your particular design. But again, this is gonna be a nice custom satin that is a pattern design rather than you having to actually draw out a, a custom satin stitch. A few things to note as far as the settings go here, obviously the minimum width, maximum width, and pattern length, so that's going to be the distance between each of these triangles on this particular one. But down here you've got some selections here. Now we have found that adding rungs or not adding rungs makes no difference when it comes to embroidering out. It will work without rungs, and you can see what it looks like without rungs here. It just kind of makes it look a little bit simpler. And that's really cool because normally you would need rungs there in order for it to be a custom satin stitch. But this really just adds the visual of the rung, it will work without it. Also with the rungs, you can kind of adjust where the rungs are going to be. So that kind of just adjusts how it will stitch out. Yeah, if you for a particular reason wanted to change the angle of the rung on one of these, the first thing you would have to do is convert this object to a path and then go to your node selection tool and you could change the direction of these rungs individually if you'd like. The other thing I do want to point out is that this pattern here is not the full length of my line that I originally drew out. And the reason is I have defined my pattern length as 5.6 millimeters in this case for each of these little triangles. And I don't have enough distance here at the end to add a last triangle. So you can actually change this a little bit by hitting this stretch button and it will slightly adjust each of these triangles so that it will go the entire length of your line. Now for your design, it may not matter. You may be looking for that specific distance when it comes to the pattern length, or you may be looking for the specific distance with the Bezier line that you originally drew. And if that's the case, go ahead and hit the stretched button and hit apply. And you'll notice that the pattern goes all the way to the end by slightly adjusting each of these individual triangles. See what we're working with when we go into params. We'll go ahead and show that. Hit close there. And you can see just like that, it makes a custom satin stitch that required not a whole lot of work, which is really nice. This is definitely a cool new tool in the new ink stitch update for the version 3.0. So now that we've shown you what this effect is and how to use it, we're gonna go ahead and do a very simple project to show you where I think this effect really shines. So let me get, go ahead and delete that. And what we're gonna do is, I think if we did like a simple patch, so I'm gonna go ahead and get, grab my rectangle tool three by two rectangle here. And I'm, now I'm going to give it a stroke and shift and the color. And I'm going to hit X to get rid of the fill because I don't want that. I'm going to go ahead and drag this down to give it a little bit of a curve on the edge. Go ahead and 
reduce my stroke. So in the past we've shown where we can basically copy this line, make this one a dashed line, and then thicken up this line to give it a consistent satin edge around the area here. But now we're gonna do the live effect, which again, I think you get pretty cool results for that satin edge. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this shape and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm gonna hit Command D and I'm gonna turn this one into a dashed line and I'm going to change the color so I can see it. Shift. All right, so that's my dash line. We're gonna move that to the bottom because that needs to be on the bottom layer. And I'm just going to grab that and move it to the bottom. And that reveals our other line here. Now we're going to select that one. And this is the one we're going to use the live effect pattern with. So we're gonna to go to extensions, ring stitch, pool satin, and stroke to light path effect. So let's see, what do we wanna do? We'll go ahead and use diamonds just for purposes of showing here. So this is where you can kind of decide, well, how thick or thin do we want this edge to be? And I think it actually looks pretty good as it is right now. And then obviously the pattern length, we can shrink these diamonds up to be a little bit more sharper or we can stretch them out right here. That could be neat. So we'll go ahead and hit apply and then close. So now that we have this basic patch design done, let's go ahead and add some lettering. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like in the realistic simulator. Okay, so our running stitch will go down first. We can cut out the applique, and then it will do this satin along the edge. So one thing I'm going to adjust here is before I compromise the edge of our stabilizer material with the satin edge, I'm going to do this lettering embroidery first. So I'm gonna basically switch the blue with the red that way if the edges of our stabilizer come loose because of this constant stitch along the edge of that stabilizer, it may break free, and I don't want it to break free before this goes down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change the order here. I'll close that. Restack in order of selection, and now that should stitch out in the order that we want it. So it turned out really cool and I think this is a really easy way to add a custom satin stitch to some of your projects. Certainly what we could have done better is when we were cutting off the excess material for the applique, we could have gotten closer to the edge of that running stitch or we could have just adjusted the minimum thickness or minimum width adjustment in the pattern so that it would cover more of that edge. So certainly in the future, if we were to do this again, we would thicken that up a little bit. So giving us a little bit you know, a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to cutting off excess material. But overall, the pattern looks really cool. It's a different way to, you know, stitch on an applique, and I think that's really neat. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn those notifications to get reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.